Absolutely. We tend to think if I gut it out, right. yeah. you know, like yeah, a diet, diet or a workout, right. I'll get to yeah, abundance. Yeah, and you go, you know what, if we would learn to yield, it's actually the whole process Absolutely. is abundant. Some of it is a stripping. I remember one of the most difficult seasons of my life was during the process of adopting Missy. Mm -hmm. And I, it, it's too long a story to get into, and I'm concise, it's not my gift anyway. But long story short, I had to leave her in Haiti. She was in a really, really difficult situation, and I felt like she was probably being abused. And I had to leave her behind in what was like a, where you'd leave your dog here at PetSmart, be groomed in a cage. And she's screaming, you know, she's sorry, she's hurt, but legally, I couldn't stay there. And my only shot at getting her was to come back to Nashville and go through legal channels. And I remember just, I couldn't even speak on the flight to Miami and the flight from Miami to Nashville. I felt like I've got yeah. nothing left. I just, I'm, I'm barely putting one foot in front of the other. I felt like, of course, I'd left my heart in Haiti and it was taking so long, mm -hmm. sure. so much. I'd already lost two babies through adoption. And I remember driving, I lived in this little cottage. We used to live pretty close to each other out near Nicole in the country, beautiful hills of Tennessee, but I lived by myself and I'd had a contractor take a bunch of money. And so I thought I don't have a normal house anymore. Mm -hmm. I walked in so just despondent mm -hmm. and I was going through bills cause I'd been gone for two weeks and a, an envelope fell out and I thought it was one of those publishers clearing house <laughs> things. And so then I just started pulling the, the innards out of bills because I knew I couldn't sleep because my heart was so broken and a check fell out. Mm -hmm. And you know, I'd never gotten a, a royalty before. And the, the, I again thought it was a fake check until I realized, no, it's actually a, a real yeah. royalty check. And it was the exact amount mm -hmm. this contractor had stolen wow. from me. Wow. And there in the dark, when I felt like I had nothing left, um, um, it was just a tangible way for yes. God to go. And I remember it like it was yesterday. I don't think I've ever heard an audible voice from the Lord, but you know, sometimes yeah, he speaks so mm -hmm. loud, it yeah, may as yeah. well be audible. Mm -hmm. And he said, in that dark night, yeah. he said, I promised you I would be a husband to the husbandless. Yeah. And I will be a father to Missy yeah. and Haiti because I'm a father to the fatherless. Yeah. And I sat there on the couch and wept and I thought, I think sometimes it's it's true when we get to the end right. of ourselves. We we recognize when he's all we have, he's all we right. need. I can identify what yeah. you said. You know, I, I remember a hard season that I had gone through and it was many years ago. I was in an abusive relationship and I remember getting to the point where I said, you know, God, I know that you've spoken words over my life. I know that since I was 12, you've prophesied what you were going to do. But right now I'm willing to forfeit it all. Can wow. you just take me in my sleep? Wow. And I remember praying my best prayer, just trying to set my house in order because I was so convinced that when I woke up the next day, that the face I would see would be the face of God. And that was my hope. Wow. And um, I remember just, you know, just believing. And um, when I woke up, I was still there. And I thought, man, like, you're not gonna take me out of it. Like, you're not gonna rescue me from this, you know? And I remember feeling a, a measure of just let down, you know, because I thought that the answer that God would give me would be a yes to what I had requested. Mm. But I learned later on that really sometimes the best yes he gives is in the form of a no, That's right. yeah. you know, because yeah. he's gonna take us not just out of it, he wants to take right. us through it. Right. Right. And since right. he has taken me through it, now I've been able to say, okay, God, I thank you. I can yeah. see the growth. I, I yeah. see you even yeah. better than I did prior to. Yeah. I see you in another way than I would have seen you had I not gone through that night season. I know you yeah. as someone who won't break the broken reed, right. you know, the bruised yeah. reed. Like you right. won't, you won't yeah. crush it any yeah. further. Right. Someone who is yeah. tender, right. someone who is not um, abusive, someone who makes sure that his bride is without spot and blemish yeah. and makes sure and says, okay, you're worthy of the same, you know? Yeah. And so I know him in a new way now because of the growth that I've experienced from him taking me through that yeah. season. You know, and so I'm so glad that he was able to uh, produce fruit out of it, you know, fruit of endurance, fruit yeah. of love, of joy, yeah. of, you know, patience, things that I would not have, I don't think, acquired yeah. 
yeah. had I not gone through it. Now, would I want to do it again? Absolutely not. I'm not one of those people that would say, I would do the same thing. I wouldn't. I'm not going to lie. I'm like, no, could we find another way to do it, you know? Could I read something? Exactly. <laughs> but uh, I remember walking not too long ago, and we live out in the country, and I was praying, uh, actually, Psalm 23. And I, was, uh, I got to the part where it was saying, he leads me in the paths of righteousness, the, pa- the right paths uh-huh. for his name's sake. Right. But then right after it, it says, and yea, though I walk right. through the valley of the shadow of death. Right. And I thought, God, you know, sometimes we blame the devil for certain oh, things, yes. but sometimes your right path will lead me right through that's the valley right. of the shadow of death. That's, that's and you're right. showing me I don't have to fear when yeah, I go through those right. times, yeah. you know, because you're yeah. with me. And so I know that he's able to take me through any storm yes. because of what he did, what I've seen him already do in my life. Yeah. And so yeah. I may not be to the point yet where I'm saying, bring it on. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. I know that when the on comes, yeah. Yeah. I know who's going to get me yeah. through. That's beautiful. But you aren't sitting on your branches. I'm certainly you not sitting on my branches. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> At TBN, our mission is to use every available means to reach as many individuals and families as possible with the life-changing gospel of Jesus Christ. Thank you for helping make the gospel of grace go around the world. And it's because of you that partner with us that this ministry continues. God bless you.